Hey everybody. So congratulations, you got admitted into Dalhousie University's Masters in Applied of Computer Science program. And this is Anita Dhosur and here I would tell you what is basically SDC and non SDC and what courses you can take uh, to excel in this uh, curriculum and what courses will actually help you uh, land an internship later or your project stream uh, depending on your choice. So first of all, SDC or non SDC, depending upon your previous work experience, your uh, re relevant courses during your undergraduate level and your previous uh, work experience with uh, interviews results. Uh, so there's an interview process to get into MSCS and the interview result you'll either be put into the SDC or non SDC category. So SDC basically stands for software development concepts. It means that you're supposed to uh, clear the SDC level course initially. And then once you do that, uh, you can proceed with the other courses, but if you're in non STC, then it basically starts off almost immediately. So for STC, it would start, for instance, if you're uh, aiming for the fall 2023 uh, semester. So the courses that you would uh, ideally take up first is the SDC course, Software Development Concepts. And the second course would be communicating computer science ideas. So these are the only two courses that you would end up taking for fall 2023. And then uh, in winter 2023, database management systems is the core course that you need to take. So basically these two and database management systems and advanced topics in software development concepts is the next course that you will take. So these are the core courses you need to take for STC. This is, this is important, it's compulsory and you have to take it. Now from here onwards, you'll have one course left which you can take over here. So here you can take one course and during your summer uh, semester, you can take three courses and during your fall semester, you can take only two courses. So you do that and then in winter 2024, uh, about a year later, you can either go for the internship or the project stream. So this is how it is. And now let's let's check out how non SDC would be. In case of non SDC, you will have uh, fall 2023. If you're getting in fall 2023, you'll have these three courses as your main courses. Uh, this is compulsory and you have to take it. And for your winter semester, uh, you can take three courses again. For your summer semester, you can take three courses and for uh, the fall semester, you'll start your internship or project. So currently I'm in this phase. I have taken three courses and this is what I'm aiming for next semester onwards. So this is my scenario. And now what's basically happening here is that uh, you have you have some choices you can take for your course and with that flexibility, you can really choose what tech stack you want to proceed with. And that's the beauty about NACS. So for example, here are the list of amazing courses that I have gone through. I've seen my seniors go through it and these courses really help out in landing amazing internships or going for project streams. So if you're looking for a proper SDE position, software development, web development, cloud, you know, and all that latest stuff. So then these are the list of courses you need to take. These are amazing courses. So advanced topic in cloud computing, you'll like jump right into AWS. You'll go forward forward with the AWS cloud practitioner certification and then advanced topic in web development will lead you to uh, Mern stack or uh, Mern would be with React or mean stack. Um, you can go with Angular, Vue.js or React and the entire web development in that aspect. Uh, network security uh, like dive deep into firewalls and cloud architecture. This is a recent course which will dive you deep into the uh, software associate level architecture at AWS, which is the next level certification on top of cloud practitioner and then serverless. Serverless is another amazing course which, which will basically open up your mind into cloud development and advanced topics in mobile computing, which will get you into uh, Android Studio development with Kotlin. So these are amazing courses for getting into the, uh, you know, the development sphere. So off spin blockchain, there's an introduction to blockchain course as well, which is also very relevant and it's like just basic introduction uh, and you will dive deep into Bitcoin mining and then uh, for machine learning, uh, there's the machine learning 6000 level course, advanced topics in NLP, which is also 6000 level course and big data analytics for machine learning, which is also 6000 level course. Uh, just wanted to mention here that network architecture is also a 6000 level course. 
So that's how it is. Rest of these are 5000 and then list. These are the list of courses with less coding. So technology innovation, privacy, IT and designing for UX. They're more documentation oriented and critical thinking. So so these are all like really into coding and um, these are slightly less into coding, to be honest. So what happens is uh, you realize that during the final semesters for non SDC, the summer semester and for SDC, the fall semester during the final semesters, what students usually do is they take lighter courses so that they can uh, so that their job hunt would become easier. So in that process, you can uh, mix and match with one of these courses to make your uh, semester a little lighter. So that's that's where these courses come into picture. And not only that, these courses are amazing in, in itself. Privacy and IT really dives deep into the Canadian work culture and how it is to sh uh, sh how privacy plays an important role in Canada. Designing for UX, as the name suggests, it's an amazing course which will uh, dive you deep into front end development if you are really into that. And technology innovation is an amazing cross section between business and technology. In fact, at the end of business, in, at the end of technology innovation, you will end up developing a, an entire website. So that's also one more aspect. So uh, this is one more aspect I wanted uh, to mention. And lastly, uh, so during your uh, job hunt, which is the summer semester here and fall semester in this case, uh, what what will happen is you can showcase the list of projects that you developed during your uh, master's program. So these list of projects that you develop during your master's program will actually be deployed. So that means there will be a shareable link which you can send it to your friends, family, recruiters and different companies and they can actually click on that link and view your entire website or application or whatever for that matter. So in this scenario, AWS uh, Advanced Operating Cloud Computing will uh, give you a link. That means there will be a project at the end of this course, and you can use this link for your job hunt. For web development also, there will be a link which will come handy. For serverless, there will be a link which will come handy. For mobile computing, you'll basically develop an Android APK, and it's basically an APK, so you can't really make it a link. Uh, you can in some aspect, but that's how it is here. Or uh, if your uh, mo uh, web app mobile application is really good, then you can end up making it as a uh, you can put it on on Google Play Store for that matter. And advanced topic in software development concepts. Here is where you'll get a link. So these links play a crucial role in your job hunt. You can actually show off to the recruiter that what you've developed, and that's really important. So yeah, so this is about Dalhousie's MACS program and how there are several courses you can opt from and there are more courses. This is this is not it. There are many more courses. I will keep adding them onto the comment section as I see them come up in the uh, upcoming semester's calendar. Uh, so thank you for your time and if any more uh, questions, please do put it out in the comment section. Thank you.